What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and the reason why is because there has been a tombstone glitch happening over the past few weeks and it hasn't gotten patched. Uh, there's always way around it by the way if you guys want to search up that type of stuff over there here in YouTube you guys can uh, just search up tombstone glitch of Modern Warfare 3 you should be able to find what you're looking for. And this is the first time I ever talk about a glitch and talk about searching it up so you know, it doesn't happen very often because this is actually a harmless glitch. So what's been going on over the past few weeks is that people have been pretty much putting their two cents about this whole situation. Especially the page detonated, you know, a team pretty much running this whole page. And uh, they shared how this glitch is ruining the entire, you know, mode of Call of Duty Zombies. And I do have my own opinion about this and I know it's going to be a little bit controversial because, you know, I'm usually against glitches and hacks of Call of Duty. But like in my opinion, I believe this is not actually ruining the game. I think you have your own free will in the entire mode and pretty much can go wherever you want. You know, the way this is sounding like coming from Detonated, it sounds like they're forcing you to go into this spot and pretty much claiming all the money. So um, it's not like Call of Duty is like Grand Theft Auto 5 or anything, you know, this is really not, you know, because in Grand Theft Auto 5, if I remember correctly, back when I was playing the PS3 days, um, I know they used to teleport you to them, to the glitcher or to the hacker and drop you all the money and you'll be able to have like around $999 million in your account. Now that's a big difference compared to what the, whatever this guy is trying to do in this video where he's just dropping a bunch of money. So uh, he's not forcing you to go there. Of course, sometimes these glitchers will announce themselves and be like, hey, I'm going to be in B2 dropping a bunch of money or schematics if anybody wants it. And of course, people are going to be traveling to that spot and trying to get it. But you're not forced to go there, though. Like, nobody has a gun to your head or you're not chained up to the glitch and say, say, telling you, like, hey, you better pick up this up or now you'll be, like, hurt or something. Like, I don't know. But, like, the point is, nobody's forcing you to go to these spots to really claim all this cash or pick up all these schematics. I mean, you don't get banned for it because this is stuff that you can easily just find around the map. So, um, it's really no issue here, in my opinion. So, um, I don't know what's going on with the detonated, but, like, they gotta chill out with this. I mean, they should just announce, yeah, there's a glitch, but, like, to say that it's ruining the mode, I think it's not to me. Because, to be honest, like, I know people are gonna be saying, like, well, Joe, you only play multiplayer, you don't even know what's going on with zombies. Like, I, yes, I do play zombies. When multiplayer gets boring, like, after an hour, because it does get boring after an hour, believe me or not. Which is why I'm, I'm not even live streaming Call of Duty for, like, a while, because it's just does get boring after an hour um after an hour i play zombies all right i play zombies to get some of the camos and just kill some zombies because sometimes i get frustrated with multiplayer i'm like dude this is boring you know it's always the same shit you know people camping people doing this and that and i'm like you know what let me play some zombies let me take out some of the, my frustrations with the zombies so i go out there and just do missions by myself i play solo um i mean sometimes i fill up the team but the teammates are just doing whatever they want, you know, they just don't do anything together. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just play solo. So I just do some of the missions and that's it. I kill some zombies in x -Fail, right? That's all I do. So, but I do see those announcements and I'm like, dude, I don't have to go to that. I don't have to. I just, I just want to have some fun playing zombies, that's it. So, it really doesn't force you to go anywhere. It's, it's just there. People are announcing it. Now, is it cringe or is it a big problem for other players? Maybe, but like I said, you're not forced to go there. It's just there. It's a PvE mode. Now, if this was like multiplayer where they have to drop a gun that has extra damage, just like Advanced Warfare. You know, imagine Advanced Warfare with their schematics or whatever, how they used to do things back in the day. Like if you had to get, you got, if you got like the, like the Battle Obsidian or the ASMR Speakeasy. Of course, that will be a freaking big ass problem in multiplayer, but that's PvP. This is PvE. <laughs> you don't hear a zombie complain about us saying like we're too OP, which we already are, with all the schematics and all the perks and all that fun stuff, you know? Like, you don't hear zombies complaining about us because it's just a freaking zombie. <laughs> like, bro, man. I, I mean, I would believe that these type of people will like be like in the future and be like saying like, oh, zombies do have rights, like... I don't know, man. It's hilarious to me. But in my opinion, I don't think it's a it's a big issue. Of course, it needs to get patched in the future. But I mean, in all in all honesty, it's not a harmful thing. It's just there. I mean, shit. 
So anyways, tell me your opinion about this whole situation, guys. What do you guys think about this glitch? Should it get patched? Is it ruining gaming forever and for everybody in all categories and all genres? <laughs> and my point is, is it ruining for you? Like, let me know in the comment section. So um, let me talk to you guys about the gameplay in the background real quick before I leave. Uh, I'm using the MX-9. The best class setup has already been posted a few weeks ago. You guys check it out so you guys can see it yourself and how good this SMG is. It's still one of the strongest SMGs in the whole category. Stronger than the uh, Striker 9 and all these Modern Warfare 3 SMGs because they, I swear to God, dude, I swear. Like, I've tested out all the SMGs for the Modern Warfare 3 versions and they all just stupendously suck, dude. <laughs> I tried so much. But I don't know, man. I'm going to go another round with them and see, see like, if they work again. And we'll see, like, if I can come up with a class of Striker 9 or something. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to check out the MX-9 best class setup, go down to my videos and just search it yourself. And you should be able to see the best class setup. And you'll be able to dominate from close range combat to mid range. Because this MX-9 is all over the damn place. So, that is it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, but you need to get paid.